Um, now, last year you guys beat Detroit by 13. Uh, explain this year how this year's team, uh, both you and Detroit, uh, you know how they're different and how you guys are going to have to adapt to get a win. Um, yeah, I mean they're coming. They're, they're bringing a lot of guys back, and as are we. We know it's going to be a battle every time we go down to Callahan Hall. Callahan Hall, it's it's going to be a battle. I mean they bring their A game every time. And we know that going in, we're going to have to hit the glass hard and take care of the ball. And they got some really nice players that, that really like to attack and drive. And we know, we know it's going to be a tough battle. Basically, what he said is a little bit of a blab blood there. So he's just trying to get back to folks in there, trying to keep some of that defense down so the offense going. Hopefully, come out win. Talk about. Uh, you know how experience like playing Cal is going to work out for Detroit. I mean, even though they did end up losing by 30-something points, I mean, how do you think an experience like that going into Cal and, and playing a number 12 team like that, how, the, how that's going to work out for them and their confidence? With them going down there, just with some experience, trying to get some guys of a higher caliber uh, so they can see where the offense and defense was, see how they can stand against them, trying to get into this season. Yeah, I mean, like D-Law said, anytime you can get a, I mean, get a game under your belt before we played is always good too. So they're going to come in and they're going to be, they'll probably be a little bit crisper than us at the start. We're just going to have to battle at the beginning and then get our legs back. Now on uh, Wednesday, you you really started to heat up uh, in the second half. Do you think that's officially the the off season rust is gone now? Yeah, I think so. I think so. It was just the first game getting a little, getting our legs back a little bit and then working into it and trying to get trying to get everybody else involved. But definitely now that the season's come and we're here, we're definitely going to put our best foot forward and uh, give it our best shot. And Don, um, talk about you know the importance of your your really like nitty gritty style of play. On, you know on both ends of the floor. And, and getting rebounds, continuing to get those rebounds and uh, those second chance, check, second chance points opportunities. You got to be very scrappy. Uh, defense and rebounding is the key right now. Uh, if you can do it on both ends of the floor, it's great. You can help out the team a lot. Just one scrappy play, two scrappy plays, and every team is always needed. Um, well, they, they've had a complete changeover in their roster. Uh, they had some Division One transfers that were sitting out last year, and then they also had some. Uh, uh, they also had a lot of junior college kids that they brought in. So they have almost a complete new roster change, and they're much more talented uh, than they were last year. A lot of new players, but they're much more talented than they were last year, number one. Number two, we have some guys that are a year older, so it should help us. We have a little bit more experience uh, with Flinard Whitfield and Demetrius Ward, although he's going to be a little limited uh, coming back from the stress fracture. Um, uh, Mikey Douglas, Mohamed Conte, and then, of course, our, our three seniors, uh, and David Kuhl and Martel Mack. Lamar and, and Donald Lawson. So we have a little bit of experience coming into it. So there's the second factor. And then the third factor is we played them at home last year and we play them on the road this year, which has been a very difficult place for anybody to win at. Uh, we have taken some very, very good basketball teams into there and gotten beat. Not just got beat, got thumped. Uh, the team that won the 2004 MAC title where we went when we went to the NCAA tournament second game of the year we went into Detroit and got beat by 26 so uh, it's a difficult place to play um, there are some things going for us there are some things going against us um, we're just gonna have to play a disciplined basketball game talk about um, the experience of playing Cal for Detroit and how I mean going into a you know a number 12 teams house like that and, I mean even though they did end up losing by 30 plus I mean Talk about just that kind of experience and how that kind of battle tests them and how that's going to improve them. Well, they got a real game under their belt, you know, against a Division One school. That's uh, so they understand Division One speed now, and they understand top-notch Div Division One speed and and the skill level. Uh, you know, Cal led the nation last year in three-point field goal uh, shooting, and not by a little bit, by a ton. And they have all those kids back, and they beat them from three last year, or excuse me, in their game uh, earlier this week. So so that, that will help them a little bit. Um, that and the fact that it's their home opener now uh, is, is uh, I'm sure it'll be something that they can draw from, an experience that they can draw from. And um, Nate Hutchinson and uh, David Brown have really been playing well so far in the two exhibition games. How do you think that's going to transfer over to you know this, this first game especially and you know, in, in the season in general? Yeah, well, I mean, in terms of how it's going to transfer over, I'll let you know Sunday night. 
you know, we, we don't know. Uh, they have played well in the exhibition games, and no offense to Kalamazoo College or Spring Arbor, but they're, it's just, they're just not Division I. Uh, what, what University of Detroit does very well is they defend. They put a lot of pressure all over the court. They deny all over the court. Nate, we didn't have to face that in either, in either one of our exhibition games. And Nate Hutchison and uh, David Brown, all of our freshmen, and really all of our players, are going to experience major Division I speed and quickness. This is one of the most athletic teams we will play all year long uh, in the first game of the season. They will really get out and deny. There's a lot of quickness on the floor. And we're going to be really, really, it's going to, we're going to have to play a great game to win at Detroit. Um, Hutchison and David Brown, and Pertain, they're going to play, but they're going to have to, I mean, they're going to get their eyes open as to what this level is all about. Talk about how you guys are going to deal with guys like, uh, like Thomas Kennedy and uh, Chase Simon. Well, they're, they have a big, they have a big three or four that they really like to do the majority of the scoring with. Uh, Thomas, Thomas, they're led by Thomas Kennedy, and Thomas Kennedy is, is he's he's a great all-around player. He's a forward at six five six six that has outstanding quickness. Uh, he shoots the three very well, and he can drive the ball with his right hand, his left hand. Finishes inside, finishes outside. He'll post up. He'll shoot threes. So he's a good all-around player. You just got to play him honest and slant your defense in his direction. Um, as a Chase Simon is a is is a very good mid-range player. Loves one or two dribbles and pulls up at the 12 to 15 foot range. They have they have there really aren't any weaknesses for them other than experience. Uh, you know we have. They have a lot of players that are playing their second game ever of Division One basketball. We have some guys that has a little bit more experience, um, but we're playing on the road. Uh, but they have, I mean, in Woody Payne, they have maybe the best on-ball defender. He just ate up Jerome Randall the other night from Cal, and Jerome Randall's a John Wooden Award finalist uh, at Cal, and, and uh, first team uh, all pac 10 point guard, and Woody Payne ate him alive uh, defensively. So uh, when you combine that with some of their shooters, out there like Chase Simon and Kennedy and then they have a big guy in the middle that transferred from Indiana and uh, Holman uh, who's 6'11 and 255, 260 there's really no glaring weaknesses Okay, one last thing um, you talked about how, how tough it's going to be to go in, in there and win and what, what a tough of, you know, um, arena that's been for opposing teams uh, what would you know what would a opening opening game of the season win do for you guys? And I mean, just in the in the long run over this whole season, what kind of tone would that set? Well, it'd be tremendous. Uh, I mean, we're we're going into there with the idea of winning the game. Uh, it, 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 we're in a we're in a. We're in a great situation, though, uh, because we're going over there. Uh, we haven't played a game. We're going to be very excited to play it. If we win the game, it's nothing but confidence building as we head in to the rest of the season, and in particular the next game, VCU. If we lose the game, it's not the end of the world. You know, this team is very much going to be a work in progress with nine of the 12 players, uh, nine of the 12 scholarship players on our roster being freshmen or sophomores. It's going to take us a little while to get ourselves up to speed and especially offensively. Our timing is still off. It's going to be off until we get some games under our belt. But um, but I, I like I like the way we're playing. I like our preparation. I like our enthusiasm. You know, and we're going to go over there and battle and see what we got. But I feel I feel good about our season. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Okay, thanks. Actually.